Hi everyone, it's Tish with Nocturne Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a traveling paint kiss acrylic pour turned into 100 balloon kisses. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using the Arteza Premix Ready to Pour paints in today's video. I'm going to be using uh, Silver Gray, Phalo Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Neon Blue, Forest Green, sea green, silver, and Mars black. And I'll be sure to link these down below in the description. And Arteza is having a giveaway right now, so be sure to watch until the end. I will have all the giveaway information at the end of the video. These are pre-mixed, ready to pour paints. So all you have to do is shake the bottle and then they're ready to go. I like to shake the bottle about 30 minutes before I'm getting ready to do my acrylic pour. And then that way um, the air bubbles you introduce, you know, when you shake the bottle pop and you don't have a ton of bubbles after your pour. So I have two 9 ounce cups here. I'm working on a 12 by 24 canvas. I'm filling up my left cup. I was trying to go lightest to darkest color, but I ended up just alternating my colors. And then in my right cup, I just did opposing colors as to what I did in my left cup. And these uh, bottles are two ounces. So after I was done pouring them out, I ended up using all of the paint in the bottles. What I was doing is just placing them upside down on the canvas just to make sure I get all that paint out of there. And then after I'm done layering the colors in my cup here, I'll lift them up, let the excess paint kind of flow down, and just kind of smooth the paint out around the edge of the canvas. That's going to break the surface tension and help your paint flow a little bit easier around the edge of your canvas. So I'm all ready to start pouring. I'm going to start in the bottom left corner and pour at an even pace diagonally across the canvas. You don't have to go diagonally. You could go horizontally if you want to. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. Just adding a little bit of paint that was left in my cups to the corners here. I actually ended up using too much paint. You only need about 12 or 14 ounces for this technique. And that's if you're working on this size canvas. So anywhere between 12 and 14 ounces I found works good for me. But check out these fun patterns. I was just loving these colors together. Um, my friend Nordic Crafting suggested that I do a pour with blue, silver, and black. And I told her I would definitely give it a try. So this one is inspired by her. Go check out her channel. I will link it down below in the description. She does all kinds of awesome crafts on her channel. But I was loving how this turned out. I was just loving that black white, or that's not even white, it's silver gray up in the right hand corner. But I ended up overstretching the paint on this one. Um, the silver metallic paint didn't like being stretched out this much. So the pigment was kind of breaking up. I'll bring you guys in for a close up. You can see right here, and it looked okay from far away, but up close, when you got really up close to the painting, it just was looking kind of blotchy. So I was gonna go in and do a bunch of balloon rolls, and that didn't really work out. So I ended up doing a ton of balloon kisses, and it ended up turning out really nice in the end. You can see here, I'm gonna go in with my little balloon and try to do a roll, and it just ended up taking the paint off my entire canvas, and I was like, well, that's not gonna work. So I just went in and did balloon kisses, and I was just gonna go in the sections where I was having the problem um, with where I overstretched my paint, but then it didn't really look balanced. So I ended up going in and doing balloon kisses all over the entire painting. I swear I did over a hundred balloon kisses on this one. It ended up feeling like a thousand balloon kisses by the time I was done with this painting, but it was actually really therapeutic and relaxing to do these on this canvas. And I knew the colors were under there, so it was fun to see the colors pop up from underneath every time you did a balloon kiss because, you know, the way you layer your cup, you know what colors are underneath each other. So that was a lot of fun. And you can see my daughter, she just tried to help me here. She 
dipped that little popsicle stick in some paint and ran it through my painting. I was like, what are you doing? But she's never done anything like that before. She always um, does acrylic pouring with me when I'm painting, but it didn't matter on this one because I was going in and doing balloon kisses anyway, but I just thought it was so funny when I watched this back to see her little hand trying to help me. She said she was trying to help me with my paintings. I thought that was so cute and funny to see her little hand just pop in and help me out here on this one. I'm just going to keep uh, doing my balloon kisses here and then I will bring you guys in for a close up. And I'm going in and wiping my little balloon off um, after I'm done dipping. And I'm also dipping my balloon in the runoff. If I wanted to add a little bit more color to certain sections, I would go in and dip into the runoff and then add that to my canvas too. So you can definitely do that if you know you want to add a little bit of a different color to a section. And also too, there was a spot where I did a dip and it ended up taking the paint off the entire canvas. So what I did right here, see there's just a big bare spot. So what I did was just took my finger, scooped up some paint, and then um, added it to my canvas and went back in and did another dip and that fixed it. So that's why I love working on wax paper too, um, because you can easily scoop up any of the runoff and add it to your painting if you want. And it's also a good way to save your acrylic pour skins. So here it is all close up. This is the wet finish. I just love these colors together and how they're, it's kind of a gradient effect. So I'm going to let it dry for about three days and I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all nice and dry. And here it is all nice and dry. These paints dry with a really nice glossy shine or sheen to them. They're very, very glossy when they dry, which is what I really like about them too. I just really think this one turned out fun. I never really get a chance to do the balloon kiss technique, so I guess I went, out, went all out on this one. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you guys are all doing good and you're staying safe out there. I'm really loving this color combination together, so I'm definitely going to try to mix my own paints. I'm going to do um, just Floetrol and paint and try to do another Traveling Paint Kiss Acrylic Pour with these colors. Um, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, you know I love the Traveling Paint Kiss uh, technique. I have a ton of other videos on my channel doing that technique. So be sure to go check those out. That would really help me out a lot if you go check out a few more of my other videos. I will link a few of my favorites down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, go ahead and leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And I hope you guys all have a nice weekend. And I will see you guys on Monday for another video. And don't forget to go check out my friend's channel, Nordic Crafting. She does all kinds of fun crafts on her channel. Go check her out and subscribe and tell her Tish said hi. And now I have all the information for the $100 art supply giveaway from Arteza. So be sure to go check out their YouTube channel. I will link it down below in the description and put an iCard right here. Go watch their latest video and you will see how to enter their giveaway. It's super simple and easy and who doesn't want to win $100 in art supplies, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you guys on Monday for another video and I'll have all the products links down below in the description too along with some discount codes. Bye guys!